Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to look at how Revit 2025 converts surfaces to topo surface. The newer Revit models no longer have surfaces. If you check the architecture tab and or if you check the masking and side tab you're going to see what they call topo solid. So the surface the topo surface has been replaced with the topo solid. It creates a solid topographic element, defines the boundary, and specifies the elevation on your surfaces. But in case you import a Revit model from a previous version into Revit 2025 or Revit 2024, I think this new feature came in 2024, you can convert this surface to topo solid. So you can see the option here once you go ahead and select the surface. You can see generate topo solid. There's also an option below to click and you can see topo surface settings. You can go ahead okay it's asking me to save you can go ahead and change the intervals of how you want your contour lines to appear on the surface i'm just going to set this to 500 or 250 to be honest okay i think my num lock is on 250 passing through elevation this is currently the ground level elevation so i'm just going to set this to 10 and we have a starting point and a stop we have an interval of 250 currently showing here 1000 but i'm going to change this as well to 250 just to see what it does and then you can also go ahead and insert additional contour lines the second one starts at minus 30,000 so I'm just going to change this to perhaps minus 300 and the stop sign to be 300 as well just to see how the new Revit features deals with this and we said this is 250 as well and that's what we're going for so I can go ahead and hit apply and then click OK and you can see the surface this is the contour settings so you can then go ahead and generate the topo solid right now just go ahead and click generate topo solid it's going to ask you what base level i'm just going to let it choose the footing level because that's the very last and you can see family type topo solid one just go ahead and click ok and you can see there's a warning here the line is Slight, the line sketch is slightly off axis and may cause inaccuracies so i did not expect the surface to be accurate but that's okay and you can see the new surface now based on the previous topo surface that we brought in from a different Revit model from Revit 2022 I think it was so this is the current new surface using topo solid that is from the Revit 2025 model so that's how you can go ahead and convert your surfaces from over from other older Revit models to a new topo solid model and you can use that in your new modern Revit if you did enjoy this video remember to leave a like on it for more Revit tutorials like this remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video